Louise here, Louise on the left. Louise was born a man, but is now having hormone treatment to transition to become a woman. Uh, Nikki was born a woman and dresses as both a man and a woman, depending how you're feeling, is that right, Nikki, on the day? Um, and both of them wanted to raise their son as gender neutral, so that he thinks of himself as a person rather than a boy. Did I get that right? Have I explained that fairly yes. well? Yeah. Yes. Basically, he knows biologically he is a boy. Yeah. But we don't want him to have the constraints of a gender yet. We want him to explore both sides of the spectrum mm -hmm. and then decide when he's older. But Nikki, however ideal that may be, are you not creating problems for him? The very fact that you're calling him him. Yeah. Does that not gender specify him? Because Basically. Besides that, if you weren't calling him him, you'd have to call him it, <laughs> wouldn't you? And you don't want to be doing that. I, th I think it's a case of allowing him to express himself with we see it's very common these days for men to walk around in salmon shirts, or some like to call it, it's pink. That, by wearing that salmon shirt, it doesn't mean, oh, I'm feeling very feminine today. No, it's just a case of you've picked out a shirt that matches your outfit. Yes. I understand, I think, you know, most of our viewers will understand that kind of gender, um, fluid with toys, yeah. colours of clothing, you know, so you just say, look, here are lots of toys. We've got cookers and ironing boards, we've got yeah. trucks and workbenches, and you choose. Yeah. Um, and, and even clothes. Yeah. But actually, you're just saying if he doesn't feel... You don't want to use the word, you're a boy. No. But is that not confusing? We... For that, I find that quite confusing, because he biologically yeah. is born he a boy. He knows that biologically he's a boy. He does know that? Yes. Yeah. Like... Obviously, in the article, there was a question that, are you a girl or are you a boy? And he replied, I'm a boy. Mm. He knows that he's a boy. Um, the second part of that question, which I opened up myself, was I didn't actually say, are you a person? I said, are you a girl, a boy or a person? Mm -hmm. Right? Because obviously, if you ask a child, a binary question, are you A or are you B? They're going to give you a binary answer. If you ask them an open question, they'll give you, the an give you an open answer. What about school? He, he's starting school this September, yeah. I believe. Yes. Um, how is that going to work for him, if, you know, with his school friends, um, the gender fluid? Are you concerned that, that this could set him up for a little bit of interest from the other children and possibly a bit of bullying or name-calling if he can't, we, decide, can't say if he's a boy or a girl? He can say if he's a boy or a girl. We don't say... You can't say that. He can say that whenever he wants. What we say is... Do what you want, basically, as long as you're safe. Um, we know that when he goes to reception, that it could form interest. And we've sat down with his school and said, look, he's going to come in a boy's uniform, obviously, because <clears throat> he needs particular support in particular areas. But we've compromised with him. Obviously, he's having, rather than, like, traditionally boy socks, He's having pink socks. He's having pink. But vests. that will make him stand oh, out, won't it? Yeah. Straight away. So you say, well, he's got the boys' uniform on, but he's got, but he's pink, got socks pink socks that maybe the girls are wearing. But, yeah. but you know, do, do you really believe, Louise, that that makes his life better? He'll be a better person for that. I still just don't really get what the benefit of all of this this is, and people will be worrying and wondering: yeah. Are you two imposing your view of life? on this four-year-old? With our views and the world's views, we understand that when a child grows up, they take their parents' views and they also learn the world around them by having our views and the world around them, their views. We're hoping 
He'll become more of a well-rounded person. But, but OK, I, I'm listening to you, I hear you. Sarah has just gotten touched to say, how about just raising your child to be kind and good? Why does the gender matter so much over those other qualities? Because, like, for instance, toy shops, you go in, everything's very binary. It's, it's either a boy or it's a girl. And there's no, there's no cross-section. And yeah. to, to help teach him, um, like, better views, we've allowed him to have a broader spectrum. So if he, if he turns out to be um, more kind of boy in his outlook, the things he likes to play with, the way he likes to dress, you'll still be happy with that? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We're so. happy as long as he's happy, healthy and safe.